so <laughs> there's a uh, I wouldn't quite call it backtracking but there's a lot of um, moving back and forth you have to do gosh I just clicked on the hang on a second okay I had to move the recording box okay um there you go you're home hello bookworm I have something you might be interested in. Well, what is it this time? I found this little fellow lost on another island. Coming home I am too! There you are, you naughty boy. I told you not to leave the island. Glad I am seeing you too! A most <laughs> solemn celebration! I guess he's oxymoron. And he's diphthong? So, you found my dangling participle. I suppose I'll have to give you something. Uh, let's see now. Was it a rare book you wanted? Yes, sir. Well, then none of these will do. They've been sitting in the sun far too long and must be well cooked by now. This one is far more rare. A delicious little tidbit. Mm. Uh, thanks. Alright, so we finally got the rare book. Let's see what all the hubbub is about, shall we? Alexander is carrying a rare book from the bookworm. The words in the binding are very faint. The something something riddle book. Huh. Alexander opens the rare book and looks inside. Oh, you have the to book do this contains too. riddles and has a page missing. Alexander glances at a few of the conundrums, but finds himself more curious about the one that is missing. What was the riddle, he wonders. More importantly, what was the answer? Yeah, there uh that this is the one that we got the scrap of paper from. The answer was uh love. Really? Is that all we can do with it? That object has nothing to say. Really? We can't... Alexander opens the rare... Wait, maybe we can, uh, read... Uh, that other page. The book contains... What was the riddle he... Uh... The book contains riddles and has a page missing. What was the riddle he... Damn the it. The book contains... What was the... Interesting. Okay, uh... Forget it. We'll, uh... We'll move on with our lives. Lord. Okay, so now we'll, uh, I guess we'll just exchange it. I don't think that we need to do anything else with it. Alexander. I know we needed to open it, but beyond that, Alexander. I don't think anything. Okay, um. Hey, Ali, we got something for you. So, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but. Uh, Don Messick does the voice for Ali, uh, as well as the five gnomes on the Isle of Wonder. I think I did mention that, but I just thought I'd bring it up again, because I think it's interesting. I mean, he's a legendary voice actor, uh, as is Tony J, Hello. honestly. And, I mean, they're in this game. <laughs> it's pretty cool. No. So, like, I mean, I know, like, uh, Broken Age, a lot of people made the big, de big deal about, like, Jack Black and, uh, Elijah Wood and, you know people being in it, but it's it's really, I mean, the popular voice actors and celebrities have been doing uh, voice work in video games for a very long time, so it's nothing new. Just thought I'd bring it up. I found this rare book, and I thought of your offer. Very interesting. Move your mouth, damn it. It is a wonderful riddle book. Riddles are much more marketable than spells these days. I guess people believe more in mirth than in magic. Here is the spell book you wanted, and a fair trade it is, I must say. Enjoy it. I certainly hope so. We shall see how rusty my spell casting truly is. Thank you, Jora. Please go back to trying to woo Daenerys Stormborn. I will see you later. Uh, oh wait, let's look at the spell book or whatever. Where is it? 
We've got so many items now. Alexander is carrying a book from the bookshop. The cover says, Ye Old Spell Book. All right, let's, uh, let's open it. Look inside. Oh my god, okay. So this is the magic paint spell. We need one cup of swamp ooze, river sticks water, one black horse feather. We've already got that one. So uh, that's for the magic paint spell. Make rain spell. If you drop salt water, not from the sea. One vial sacred water, and then falling water. So you gotta get three types of water for the make rain spell. Uh, da da da. A teapot. Speak incantation over teapot to enchant. Heat to boiling to activate. God, that. Oh, that spell's a pain in the ass. Okay. Charming a creature of the night spell. One skull full of hot oak embers. A bit of sulfur. One strain of a uh, strain of a pure-hearted maiden's hair. Ah. In presence of creatures, speak incantation over skull. Okay. This so, is the last page. Yeah, so there are three uh, spells in here, and um, it's, honestly, it's the hardest part of the game. I think... Hang on. Alexander examines the red ribbon and finds a strand of long black hair. Okay, cool. So this actually is what we need. The strand of hair from the red ribbon is the color of midnight. Alexander can only hope that it belongs to his true love. There we go. Let's check our points real quick. I'm curious. Yeah. So, uh, some people have been asking me about the length of this game in relation to King's Quest V. Uh, this game is long. It's... it's much... oh god. I did it again. It's much longer than King's Quest V. I mean, I think I completed King's Quest V in like... under an hour and a half, I want to say. Maybe that's... maybe that's being too generous. Uh, like two hours. This game's at least like, like, I'd say it's three or four times as long. If you want to take the long path, like, uh, we could take the short path and, and be done a lot sooner, but I don't want to do that. So, um, wait, 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 wait. Yes, I need to go back to the Alexander. Isle of Wonder, actually. But after this, Alexander. we'll pretty much be done with the Isle of Wonder, actually. That's not true, actually. I don't know why I said that. There's quite a bit more to do. All right, uh, hey guys, how's it hanging? I'm gonna go to the next room. Yes, good, okay, um, let's get this teacup. Alexander takes the teacup. See, now that object just randomly appeared. Let's take a look at it. The little china teacup is made of fine porcelain. The teacup is empty. Yes, it is. Now, um, we want to get that hole in the wall. Unfortunately, the dandelions protect it, and the snapdragons protect the dandelions. So what you have to do might seem a little strange, but just bear with me. May I have this dance? I think it's really weird how his pants change color. Alexander stops playing the flute, but the wallflowers and snapdragons continue to dance, caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. Okay, we gotta do this quick. Get him! While the wallflowers dance, Alexander snatches the hole in the wall. So, uh, strangely enough, this does not create a hole in his pocket, I think? The hole in the wall has four legs and a curly tail. He's all limbs with only a hole for a body. But that doesn't make him any less whole. <laughs> oh my god. 
A bit of the wallflower shyness seems to have rubbed off on the hole in the wall, for he remains mute. Let's touch him. The hole in the wall squirms slightly in Alexander's palm. Huh, interesting. So, um... Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant. Here. We've, I think we're pretty much like maxed out on items. I think this is the most items that you have until you get to near the end of the game. Uh, we're gonna start using them starting now, I wanna say. Let me reread this spell book to make sure I'm, I'm uh, doing this correctly. The first spell we're actually gonna be making uh, is the Make Rain spell. First mix salt and sacred waters in a teapot, then add falling water. Okay, um... Okay, uh, I think... I think we do this now. I'm not really sure when else we would do it. So, uh, these, uh, Goo Goo Gaga little babies need the milk. Alexander gives one of the baby's tears a bottle of milk. The other baby's tears seem to resent Alexander's gift for some reason. Yeah, so they don't like that, but uh... Tears are salt water, and they are not from the sea. Shit, is it the teacup? God, I'm, I really don't want to mess this up. Du -du -du, teapot du -du -du -du, and a cup. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on a second. Okay, I almost fucked up. I almost collected them in the teacup, but you can you collect them in this lamp, I think. Damn it, is that right? Yes, it is. It is right. Here we go. Alexander collects some of the baby's tears in the old hunter's lap. Okay. I don't know if it would have let me do it with the teacup, but better safe than sorry. Okay. Phew. Um, now, let's uh, talk with these guys. That bump on the log does not look particularly conversational to Alexander. Really? Hmm. The fallen log has a good-sized knot or bump. A stick is stuck in the middle of the swamp. He's a stick in the mud, in case you couldn't tell. Alexander sees no point in trying to talk to that stick in the swamp. Hmm... Hmm. Do, 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 do. A mushy swamp lies just off the path. It doesn't look like very good swimming. Oh, man. oh, oh, I know what I do. Um teacup? Need the swamp ooze, right? What do you think you're doing? You startled me. I was just getting some swamp ooze. Well, you certainly won't get it there! That's not swamp ooze! That's swamp sludge! He's right, you know. But he could be a little nicer about telling you he's not a very pleasant stick in the mud. Nobody asked you! Be quiet! <gasps> oh, the trials of being a mere bump on a log. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Poor guy. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm Bump on a Log, and that's my brother, Stick in the Mud. We've had this thing about each other ever since our childhood. Mom always liked me best. She did not! That is absolutely not true! He's a bit lazy, you see. He's got the only swamp ooze in the swamp right next to him. But do you think he'd move a finger to help you get some? Hardly. He tried to brain you with it more than likely. His temper's about the only thing that ever gets a workout, and that on yours truly. Oh, 
like you've moved at all in the last century. Like you're Mr. Physical Activity. <laughs> just because I can't reach anything, he thinks he can throw gushy swamp matter at me and just say whatever he likes. If only I could turn the tables on that heckler, he might learn some respect. But as you can see, I'm a mere bump on a log and must be content with my lot. Oh, oh. shut up! You couldn't hit the broadside of a barn even if you had something to throw! Just shut up! You see how he is? <laughs> you see how he speaks to me? Okay, uh, something to throw, huh? How about this? Alright, get ready, this is a little bit silly, but just, just, just bear with it. I thought this might come in handy the next time your brother starts picking on you. Aha! Finally, old bump on the logs not so defenseless, is he? Hey, hey! What are you doing there? Watch the pulp, would ya? Now, Bumpy, remember all I've given you! The only thing you've ever given me is mud. Take this. No! Not into the swamp! <laughs> I don't know where the arms came from. Hey, okay. I give up. Jeez, sorry. Well, I guess it's not very pleasant having things thrown at you. I'm sorry. You mean it? Really? Brother? Brother! Stick in the mud and bump on a log, exhausted from the battle, immediately <laughs> doze off into naps. Rotten Tomato, being equally lazy, decides to join them. <sighs> Oh man, so we can't talk to Rotten Tomato anymore? Come on! How are you finding your new surroundings, Rotten... Uh, uh, Mr. Tomato? Can't you see I'm snoozing? Alright, you're done good. Now, go play in the street or something. Yeah. <laughs> Never get told. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, we have some swamp ooze here. A glob of swamp ooze tossed during the brotherly fight has landed on the log. All right, so let's scoop it on up with the teacup. Alexander fills the teacup with the swamp ooze. Oh, thank God. All right, so now we've got the swamp ooze in the teacup, and we've got the salt tears in the uh, lamp. Alexander is carrying an old, battered hunter's lamp. The lamp contains baby's tears. <laughs> that sounds so bad! <laughs> It contains the tears of a babe. The little china teacup is made of fine porcelain. The teacup contains swamp ooze. Thank you for enunciating that. Uh, I'm going to be checking this somewhat obsessively. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Next we need river sticks water, which... <laughs> fuck. All right. Um... One vial sacred water, so we can't really do anything there either. And we don't have a skull full of hot oak embers. We just have the maiden's hair. So, we're good on the spells right now. And we're actually going to go back to um, the Isle of the Crown. Alexander. Yes, yes, yes. Alexander. Thank you. We're actually gearing up for the first major section of the game, if you ask me. Um, like, uh, as far as like a defining point, end point. Um, I'm not really sure what to talk of, like, how, how to explain it. It's like like a like a plot bottleneck, so to speak. Like you can kind of go wherever you want, do whatever you want for a while, but we've got a part coming up that we have to do. I don't know how to talk about it, whatever. Good day, Prince Alexander. Okay, someone pointed this out to me in the comments uh, the other day, and the pawn shop owner is actually voiced by Dave Finoy, uh, better known as uh, the voice of Hulu, and also Lee from The Walking Dead. 
uh, the video game. So, freaking A. Had no idea. 20 years ago, he was doing this. It's insane. Anyway. How fare you, good merchant? I could use more business, if the truth be known. Clementine. Alright, um, let's give him back the flute. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander oh. looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. He looks more like a king than Alexander does. I believe I'll take the tinderbox. Very good, Prince Alex. Enjoy your tinderbox and bring it back anytime. Thank you. Let's take a look at it. Just cause. The pawn shop's tinderbox is slightly battered, but in reasonably good shape. The tinderbox contains a candle, as well as some flint and tinder. We will be using it. Uh, let me, wait, let me check real quick. Alright, uh... Why do I still have the flower? That's weird, it, it, it didn't go away. Um, let's see, make sure I've got everything. I think I've got everything that we need. Okay. Let's see what else we would need. Uh, yeah, I've got that, that, that. I don't want to single out the items just, you know, for mystery's sake, but I think I've got all the items I need for this upcoming part. Yeah, let's go. Damn it. I keep clicking outside. Alright, so um, next we're going to be going to the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. And uh, you know how it looked like we couldn't go anywhere? Well, we're going to... Uh, I don't know why I walk forward. Alexander. It doesn't make any difference. I just like being right near the water. Alexander. Uh, we actually can go somewhere now. I mean, we could before, but now we really can go somewhere. So, uh, let's do it. I'll be right back.